always the most successful one is when, when you're not trying to actually do anything. You know, it's like, it just happens. It's like playing jazz. You improvise on it. So you can literally can see the flow of the water. Yeah. I play with this for quite some time till I get to what I want. The painter George Uman creates his art with an unusual partner, the force of gravity. Like most painters, Uman uses brushes, paint, sketches, and canvases. But unlike most, a crucial tool for him is the spray bottle. Once Uman has paint on the canvas, he sprays turpentine for oils, or water for acrylic, on top of the wet paint, and gravity does the rest, forming vertical lines as it carries the colors downward. The walls of his studio record previous work, and a gutter at the bottom catches the runoff. To demonstrate his drip technique, Uman begins with a blank canvas hung on his studio wall. He brushes yellow oil paint across the top, then adds a strip of cobalt blue. More yellow and blue, and then Uman sprays turpentine onto the wet oils. The turpentine takes paint along with it as it runs down the canvas. His finished paintings show the end result. Many of Uman's paintings are tropical visions of Kerala, India, where he was born and where he returns each winter for a long visit. Sometimes they mirror the silk fabric of saris. The tropical subject matter includes many palm trees whose fronds lend themselves nicely to the drip technique. The spray can even create a sense of sunlight I mean, of course, my uh, whole thing is not about s applying the paint, but trying to intervene uh, how the paint, wh while the paint is drying, how can I manipulate the flow. Difficult things about painting is when, when is it finished or you don't want to screw around with it anymore because it's finished. And that, that's, that's fairly simple for me because I don't, I don't go back and then correct something because uh, it's finished when it's finished when the, that feeling that you started off with comes back to you.